Oh, I did bad. Anywhere, anywhere, I did bad. I don't need to hide my feelings or anything. I'm not lying, please. But I'm saying, why harass? Ha, again, that's why I say twice. Yeah. A couple of days ago, I did a video addressing the Baba Ijesha child molestation, child deformment case against um, comedian princess's foster daughter. Um, I also remember talking about how people on social media were clamoring and demanding for the CCTV footage of the event as it unfolded seven years later. Remember, um, according to the story, um, Baba Ijesha defiled this girl when she was seven years old. That was like seven years ago. And now she's 14 years old. He comes back to visit the family and then he uses the opportunity of nobody being in the house to have a repeat of what he did about seven years ago. So according to that old story, um, Princess, who was trying to set a trap to catch him red-handed, actually planted a CCTV camera in the living room i do not know if there were other cameras in every other part of the house but there was a camera in the living room I, the guy apologized but for her she wanted justice to be done and yes, now, she was that. on english no, no, the thing is that he uh, is his my... her when she was seven and then he came now as she's 14. so do it again okay why do it again now why do it again now okay tell us why do it again now i don't say what do it no, but why why do it again now? I'm going to come. Why why do it again now? Why do it again now? Why do it again now? Now guys, I remember also in that same video that I did, I also kicked against the release of that video to the general public, even to the internet because one, it is supposed to be a court evidence material. Two, the girl involved is a minor. As far as I'm concerned, she's 14, she's still a child. She's not yet an adult. She, I don't think she has found closure all these years, you know, from the experience that she has had. We don't even know what has happened behind closed doors. And now, even though she's 14, even though she seems to be grown, she's still a child. Three days ago, I saw that video on Instagram. How did I even see that video on Instagram? Guys, I'm sorry. I'm not going to name names of whose page I saw it. I'm not going to name names of whoever announced where that video would be because guys, I don't want to encourage the circulation of that video. So please bear with me on this one. I'm not going to be releasing any details of who owns, who has possession of that video, but a certain respected Nollywood actor, um, actress, actor, whatever, um, she came online, she was crying, talking about how, oh, she saw the video, um, the video made her really, really upset, um, triggered her emotions, her anger, made her cry and all of that. And then she was referring people to go and check a particular person's page, that they should follow the person first, and then they should watch the video on the person's page. That the video is very, very bad, blah, 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 the person was just talking. So naturally now, me, I'm a human being too. When somebody refers, you know, to me, something that sensitive, I would want to see out of curiosity, my human curiosity would be spiked up, you know? And so now I went ahead to go and, I did not follow the person, of course, but I went ahead to go and watch the video. And when I saw the video, I, I was, I cringed. It was disturbing. It was very, very sickening. I was looking at the video and I felt, irritated guys i don't know but i had i went through so many strings of emotions because i i was just wondering like what is this this is child pornography this is child pornography this is not supposed to be on the internet at all and then on that video i saw the punch newspaper's logo and then i started thinking like is it that the punch newspaper does not know better than to release this video to the general public and then some people were saying that, oh, the Punch newspaper released a statement saying that, oh, the link to the video was actually leaked. And I'm like, well, it was leaked though. However, oh, that was a sensitive material. That video had no business finding its way to the internet at all. It is a minor involved here for crying out loud. Guys, like whoever released that video to the public, that person is sick. I don't care whatever motive or whatever agenda whether the person feels like oh they are trying to do 
um, the girl a favor or her family a favor by fighting for justice. They can fight for justice in court, not releasing that video to the public. And so when I was watching that video, a number of things came to my mind. I had so many questions to ask. I was blaming everybody involved in putting up that video together. I was blaming everybody. I was blaming the Baba Ijesha himself. I was blaming the girl's mother, Princess. I was blaming everybody. And so I had to have this conversation with my friend because I was really, really upset. You know, and then questions I was asking were like, one, why was that girl subjected to a repeat of that same horrific event again all in the name of trying to gather evidence that was the first question i asked number two i was thinking if for real if for a fact the mother or the foster mother wanted to gather evidence come on how much is cctv camera you should be you put the camera in different locations in the house not just in the living room because what i saw it seemed like that camera was only in the living room so when the guy came into the house on the video the mother left the girl was on the chair on the same chair with the girl and then the girl sat down there and the guy was touching her he was kissing her hand he was licking and sucking on her fingers and she sat down there and he told her remove my shoe the girl removed the shoe and then she was still there in my head i was calculating permit me guys if you think i've seen too many foreign movies where they have all these investigative cctv cameras all over the place but i felt like if the mother really wanted to gather evidence what is there to install this camera at different strategic locations in the house why did it have to be in only one spot because i felt like that girl felt trapped she was there in that living room the guy was touching her the guy was doing all manner of horrendous things to her and she could not just leave why because they wanted to gather evidence she was sitting there the guy was putting his hands all over her everywhere inside her everything but she could not leave because they wanted to gather evidence guys i felt really really disgusted i felt really upset in my head i was thinking okay if the cctv camera was in her room or the um, adult room in the house what would happen if the guy tries to touch her she will run away into her room if the guy follows her to her room probably banging on the door at least there should be a, a footage of him trying to you know have his way into her room at least anywhere she goes in the house that would be more concrete evidence to show that oh okay at least she left that place and he was chasing after her guys i was watching that video and in my head i was just calculating that oh my god if some crazy lawyer now sees that video, the first thing they will say is, oh, this is this looks like a setup. Oh, why did the girl not leave that place? Why did the girl still see that? Because the guy was doing crazy things to this girl and she was still sitting there. In my head, I was thinking, okay, fine, I get it. This is more like a cash 22, you know, situation. Yes, you want to catch the culprit, but you have to sacrifice yourself. You have to sacrifice your sanity just to catch the culprit. But then, is it really worth it? guys i felt really sad i felt really really sad I, I was just trying to imagine what was going through that girl's head i was trying what, to, to imagine what was going through her mind i just felt like fine the mother really really did well by trying to set the guy up but the whole setup thingy you know it was just a complete flop putting the cctv camera only in the living room and then subjecting the girl to that torture of being right there let the guy do everything he wants to do so that we'll catch him and hand him over to the law i felt like that was not just the way forward if they wanted to do it they would have planted cameras all over the place in the house so that she would even have that liberty to at least try and run elsewhere let us see the guy chasing her and then you know that okay for real this guy is actually a lunatic Guys, I felt really bad. I felt so upset. I am happy that there's actually a footage of him being caught red and they're doing what he did. But my concern right here is mainly about the girl. How is she feeling? Is she okay? Is she in the right frame of mind? How is her headspace? What is going through her mind? How is she going to cope with the stigma? A lot of people already know her as you know related to this particular comedian so those people who live around them they would have seen this whole thing on social media and how would they start looking at this girl moving forward to be honest this whole situation is flawed and then some stupid people are coming out to come and make statements stupid statements that oh we've seen the video it was only shebi is just molestation it was not rpa 
I'm like, you people are crazy. We have a lot of sick people in this society. We have a lot of sick people. They need mental evaluation. I believe that if it was our brother, they would arrest them and they will put them in a mental asylum. These people are sick. So what were they expecting? They were waiting for the guy to actually have penetration first before we can call it RAP. It doesn't really make sense. Guys, this is my own two cents on this matter. I am tired. Like, I am drained. I am exhausted. I am angry. Right now, my emotions are messed up. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I really, really need to know what you guys think. Are you in support of the entire setup? If you've seen the video, because I'm sorry, guys, I'm not going to be posting this video on my channel. No way am I using my platform to promote that that video that video should be locked away it should be locked away it should not be released it should not be on, on on any public platform at all please guys let me know what you think in the comment section i'll see you guys on another episode of frankly speaking with glory have an amazing day bye